Can you share some insights on managing Terraform's state files? If you've been using Terraform for any length of time, you should be familiar with the state file challenge. So what Terraform does is Terraform, because it was designed as a client tool, stores its state as a static file. And every time it runs, it updates that state. Uh, there are tools that allow you to centrally manage that state file, but it, it's fundamentally still a file. And what we see happen is if that file gets changed or fixed or somebody runs Terraform but doesn't update that file correctly, then the infrastructure that's deployed and that file don't match anymore. And if they don't match, Terraform will either give up, which is a challenge, or it will try to fix the infrastructure to match what it think it should be. And that might involve deleting, removing machines, rebooting them, rebuilding them. It can be very, very disruptive to have state mismatches in Terraform because Terraform assumes that what's in that state file is the truth. Um, and the challenge with that and managing that is that if you're not very careful in how those files get managed, built, and then stored, you can find that your infrastructure is unstable and very hard to repeat, very hard to figure out what's going on. What we've done with Digital Rebar is we've made that process of storing and tracking those files much easier. So it's, it's an inherent part of the processes that we run. But even more than that, what we do is we'll build a map of the resources that are consumed outside of Terraform. And actually, that's part of the key infrastructure pipeline strategy is that once Terraform has built resources, they have their own life cycles outside of Terraform and can continue doing configuration, automation, management, uh, tracking actions. Uh, and so there's a couple of layers in managing these files and making them successful. One is storing them well and making that an automated part of the process, but also not relying on those files as the only source of truth that you have and being able to work with systems outside of Terraform. Uh, and so sort of that, that combination of approaches is really what makes something work very, very well from a Terraform perspective. Um, you know, I, I always say this, and it's an important thing, tools are great. So, you know, Terraform is a, a remarkably powerful tool, but using it within its strengths is the way to, to keep yourself sane and healthy. If you start trying to take uh, these tools, any tool, and use it in ways that it wasn't designed to use, you're going to run into the sharp edges really quickly.